The Jack Benny Program, transcribed and presented by Lucky Strike. The cigarette that's toasted to taste better. If you want better taste from your cigarette, Lucky Strike is the brand to get. It's toasted to give you the best taste, yet it's the toasted cigarette. They take fine tobacco, it's light, tobacco, it's mild, tobacco, too. And it's toasted, yes, it's toasted. Because the toasting brings the flavor right through So to get better taste from your cigarette Lucky Strike is the brand to get It's toasted to give you the best taste Yet it's the toasted cigarette This is Don Wilson, friends. That version of the Lucky Strike song Dorothy Collins just sang may be different in tempo, but the story is still the same. A lucky tastes better because it's toasted to taste better. You see... Better taste starts with fine, mild, good-tasting tobacco. L-S-M-F-T, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And then that tobacco is toasted. It's toasted is the famous Lucky Strike process that brings Lucky's fine tobacco to its peak of flavor. Tones up this naturally good-tasting tobacco to make it taste even better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. So, friends, remember that next time you buy cigarettes. And be happy. Go Lucky. You want better taste from your cigarette? Lucky Strike is the brand to get. It's toasted to give you the best taste, yet it's the toasted cigarette. The Lucky Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Rochester, Dennis Day, Bob Crosby, and yours truly, Don Wilson. <laughs> As you know, ladies and gentlemen, Hollywood is the glamour capital of the world. And since Saturday night is the time your favorite stars get together for those gay parties you read about, let's go back to last night and see what's going on in Jack Benny's Beverly Hills mansion. Everyone sure seems to be having a good time, boys. Well, certainly they're having a good time. When you give your guests good food, a big orchestra, and the champagne flows like water... How can you miss? Yeah. Well, close the window, Rochester. We can't watch Ronald Coleman's party all night. <laughs> big show off. Close the window. Good. Now help me off this box. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, Rochester, I just can't understand it. What, boss? Well, the Coleman's and I are next door neighbors. And when Ronnie first moved in, I used to go to all his parties. But the last few years, he's had a dozen big affairs, and I haven't received an invitation to a single one of them. What do you suppose it could be? Maybe you lost your address. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, come on, let's finish our game of gin rummy. Okay, it was your turn to throw a card. Yeah. Let's see now. First, you discarded the ten of clubs. Then the three of spades. The six of hearts. The jack of diamonds. The eight of hearts. The five of spades. <laughs> What's so funny? It sure helps when you've got them written down. <laughs> Look, you play your way and I'll play mine. Hmm. I hate to break up my hand, but this is the only safe card I can give you. Here you are, the king of spades. Jim! <laughs> are you lucky? Deal them up again. Rochester, are you sure I didn't get an invitation to Coleman's party? Positive. See, they must have sent me an invitation and got lost in the mail. Excuse me a minute. What are you doing, boss? I'm going to call the post office. I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. While you're about it, boss, tell them they didn't deliver the gas bill this month either. <laughs> it's your play, Rochester. Gee, I got a pretty good hand this time. You'll need it. Why? I got gin. <laughs> Again? That's the most unusual. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hello. Is this Mr. Benny? Yes. Well, this is Sherwood, Mr. Coleman's butler. Oh, Sherwood. Yes, 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 yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, well, yes. Mr. Coleman was a trifle embarrassed to even broach the subject of this late hour. But we're having a party here. I know, I know. 183 guests. <laughs> oh, I say, you've been on that box again. <laughs> such a devil, aren't I? <laughs> uh, well, at any rate, Mr. Coleman thought you might like to slip into your tuxedo and come over. Would I? I certainly, I, I, I certainly would, Sherrod. I'll, I'll be glad to come over. Uh, good. And remember, you serve from the left and remove from the right. <laughs> now, look, Sherwood, I'm not waiting on tables for Ronald Coleman or anyone else. So, goodbye. <coughs> You've all the nerve. They can keep their party. I'm just as happy here at home with you, Rochester. But, boss, I'm going out tonight. Going out? Gee, I thought you were going to stay with me. I'd like to, but I made plans to take the night off. But, Rochester, you were off last week. Oh, boss, you're not counting Tuesday night, are you? Well, why not? That's when I had my appendix taken out. <laughs> What's the difference? You didn't get home till three in the morning. <laughs> Whole night he wants for that. <laughs> well, if you want tonight off, you better get started then. Okay, I'm going upstairs and put a tie on. Everybody wants time off. See, what'll I do with myself all night? There's only someone I could play cards with. I wonder if Remley's home. <laughs> eh, he cheats. <laughs> Gee, this is going to be a boring evening. I don't know what... Hello? Oh, hello, Mr. Benny. This is Dennis. Oh, Dennis. Uh, what do you want, kid? Uh, nothing. Are you going to be home tonight? Yes. Why? Well, I thought I might come over and visit you. Oh, wonderful, Dennis. Come on over. Okay. Don't go away. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. I'm ready to go, boss, but if you really mind staying alone... It's all right, Rochester. Dennis just called. He's coming over to keep me company. Oh, that's nice of him. It sure is. I say, I wonder what I can serve him. Well, there's sandwich bread and some cold cuts in the refrigerator. Yeah, and Dennis has such a sweet tooth. Have we plenty of candy? Oh, yeah. We've got caramels, Tootsie Rolls, licorice, and some O. Henry bars. Oh, good. Shall I put them in the machine? <laughs> no, no, I can do it. You run along. Okay. Good night, boss. So long, Rochester. Gee, it's nice of Dennis to want to spend the evening with me. He'll sit around, he'll talk to me, discuss his problems, drive me nuts. <laughs> anyway, I'll be alone, so it'll be nice. Hmm. Now, who can that be? Oh, hello, Mr. Benny. Dennis. How'd you get here so fast? I was next door at the Coleman's party. <laughs> What? I would have got here sooner, but I walked. Now, look, Dennis, I'm in no mood for any... Shh, not so loud. If they find out I'm with you, they might let, not let me back in. You might not have got that line out, either. <laughs> look, Dennis, why don't you go back to your party? Well, don't you even want to hear my song for tomorrow's show? No, I don't. But it'll cheer you up. All right, all right. Go ahead and cheer me up. I've changed my mind. Dennis, sing that song! <laughs> okay, what a sore head. An Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. He'll be devil you and beguile you with his hullabaloo belay. When that rogue turns on the brogue, your heart will go astray. Oh, an Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. An Englishman has manners, an Englishman has charm. They say it's truly difficult to ruffle his aplomb. He'll hold you and he'll kiss you, but wherever he may be. At four o'clock, he'll have to stop. To sip a cup of tea But an Irishman, an Irishman Will steal your heart away He'll be giving you and beguiling you With his hullabaloo belay When that rogue turns on the brogue Your heart will go astray Oh, an Irishman, an Irishman Will steal your heart away Italian men are fiery Italian men are warm And when they love, they love with all the fury of a storm But you can turn the flame to ice And make them run for life 
For all you got to do is eat a spaghetti with a knife. <laughs> An Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. He'll be devil you and beguile you with his hollow baloo belay. When that rogue turns on the brogue, your heart will go astray. Oh, an Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. A Frenchman is romantic, and the French have savoir faire. When he makes love to you, it's always Torre Torre de Bonheur. <laughs> He'll say to you, Toujours l'amour. My life and you depends. But next day he'll be making love to two of your best friends. <laughs> but an Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. he be devil you and beguile you with his hollow baloo belay. When that rogue turns on the brogue, your heart will go astray. Oh, an Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. The German man is steady. The German man is smart. For he'll come around and around again to win the fire line's heart. <laughs> but you can lose him easily and make him hide his face. When he comes around to see you, tell him, This is not the play! <laughs> an Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. He'll be devil you and beguile you with a hollow blue belay. When that rogue turns on the road, your heart will go astray. Oh, an Irishman, an Irishman will steal your heart away. Dennis, now that you've let me hear your song, go back to the Coleman's party before you drive me crazy, will you? And you can tell him for me that... Come in! Hi, Jack. Why, Donzy, come on in. What are you doing here, Don? Well, Jack, you know the little woman's out of town, so I just thought I'd drop by and see if you'd like to take in a movie with me. A movie? Gee, I'm glad you thought of it. That's a wonderful idea. I didn't have anything to do tonight. I've been to a movie in months. Maybe Dennis will go with us. Dennis? Where's he? He's standing under your stomach. <laughs> Dennis. Please don't laugh, Don. I'm too young to die. <laughs> hey, Dennis, you want to go to the movie with us? Sure. What's playing? Well, I was going to the Palisades Drive-In. They're showing that new English film there, Murder in Piccadilly. Oh, let's go there. And they've also got a surprise second feature. I hear they've had some great ones lately. Hey, I like that. Two features. Gee, that sounds pretty good. I've never been to a drive-in. Now, come on, fellas. My car's in the driveway. Hey, I think we're getting near the drive-in theater. There's a cowboy picture at the Strand. Dennis, you'll go where we go. You're only alone. Oh, Jack, Jack, stop. The light's changing. Okay. Say, look who's in the car next to us. Where? Why, it's the sportsman. Hi, fellas. Hmm. Hope you have a nice time, fellas. A nice time? Where are they going, Don? Well, don't you know, Jack? They're going away for the weekend. Oh. Hey, where are you going, boys? We're going to Gilly Gilly Austin Pepper, Catsonell and Bogan by the sea. Oh, Gilly Gilly Gossip Pepper. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. I've been there many There's times. There's a tiny house. There's a tiny house. By a tiny stream. By a tiny stream. Where a lovely lass. Where a lovely lass. Had a lovely dream. Had a lovely dream. And Gilly a dream Gilly. came true. And a dream came true quite unexpectedly. In Gilly Gilly Austin Pepper, Cats and Melon, Bogan by the Sea. Oh, it's a beautiful spot. She was out there. one day. She was out one day. Where the like two lips his grow. Lips when, lips grow. Lips grow. when a handsome lad. When a handsome lad. Stopped to say hello. Stopped to say hello. And before she knew. And before she knew. He kissed her tenderly. In Gilly Gilly Austin Pepper, Cats and Melon, Bogan by the Sea. The happy pair were married one Sunday afternoon. They left.
left the church and ran away to spend the honeymoon in, in Gilly a Gilly? tiny house, in a a tiny house by a tiny stream, by a tiny stream where a lovely lad, where a lovely lad, hey Don, Don, there's a crowd gathering around us. And the last I heard, look at the crowd the on the street here. You hear the boys say? still live happily. Oh, it's embarrassing. Now look at the whole in crowd Gilly, here. In Gilly Gilly, up to pepper cats and melon bogan by the sea. Now, everybody, just repeat the words after me. You ready? There's a cigarette. There's a cigarette. L-S-M-F-T. L-S-M-F-T. It's the best smoke yet. It's the best smoke yet. Lucky strike for me. Lucky strike for me. To get better taste. To get better taste is toasted thoroughly. Yes, L-S-M-F-T. Light a lucky strike. Light a lucky strike. It's the smoke we like. It's the smoke we like. Cleaner through and through. Cleaner through and through. And it's smoother, too. And it's smoother, too. Take a puff and see. Take a puff and see why all of us agree. Hey, that, that was very good, boys. That was fine. Have a nice trip. See you when you get back. See, I hope we get in at the start of the picture, fellas. Oh, theater's right in the next block. Yeah, there's a sign. Oh, turn here, Jack. You have to go up this winding driveway to the box office. Yeah, I've never been in a driveway like that. Pull up to that man next to the booth, Jack. He'll give us our tickets. You made it. Huh? Ever since you left the street, I've been biting my nails. Now, look, I don't want any cracks about my car. Oh, is that a car? I thought it was a flying saucer that made a bad landing. Never mind. How much for the ticket? It's $2.40. That's 80 apiece. Here you are, mister. Here's a $5 bill. All righty. Two forty out of five. <laughs> that means two sixty. Here you are. Thank you. Come on, Jack. Drive inside. Okay. Hey, it sure is crowded here in this drive-in theater. I don't see any empty spaces. Well, why don't you follow that car in front of you? Yeah, he seems to know where he's going. Okay. You're following the wrong car. That other one turned left. He did not. I'm doing the driving. Well, back from the grand tour, eh? <laughs> Who? Jack, you went all the way out and around the theater. Nobody listens to me. Well, hang on. I'm going back in. Eh, not so fast. That'll be two forty, please. <laughs> what are you talking about? We paid you once. Well, don't get so huffy. It was Patso's money. <laughs> I don't care whose money it was. Instead of being so sarcastic, why don't you tell the fellow where we can park and see the show? Section H. Go there. <laughs> Jack, I, I think I see a space in the next row. Yeah, better hurry before somebody else gets it. Okay. I'll get in there. And a tight squeeze. Watch your side down. Here I go. Come on. Come on. Plenty of room over here. Watch it. To the right. To the right. To the right. Come on. Come on. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Hold it, Jack. To the left. To the left. To you the just left. said the right. To the left. Now make up your mind. Uh, hey, you guys, pipe down, will you? <laughs> huh? To the right, to the right, to the left, to the left. Now, Herman, don't make a scene. Oh, but why do you think they were stalking to Queen Mary? <laughs> now, look at hold it down, little fellas. Now, how am I on your side, Don? Fine, Jack. A little more, a little more. There, there, that's perfect. Now, let's all settle back and watch the movie. 
Gee, I don't like the angle from here. Why, well, what's wrong with it? Well, the actor on the screen has a pointed head. You're looking in the mirror. <laughs> Jack, I think we're a little too far to the side. Maybe we could get something more to the center. Look, I had enough trouble finding this face. I'm not moving, so forget it. I told you to pipe down. Now you woke the baby up. Oh, for goodness sake. Quick, Herman, give her the milk. I can't. You made it too hot. <laughs> Hold her, Herman. I'm holding her. I'm holding her. <laughs> they let you told me to be quiet. Now, how about you practicing what you preach? Look, you woke the baby up. All right, I'm sorry. I didn't intend to, and I apologize. We're all here to see a movie, so let's relax and enjoy ourselves. You want to be friends? Certainly. Okay, stick your hand out the window. All right, there. Ow! You see, Myrtle, I told you the bottle was too hot. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve. You burned my... Quiet! Head. What do you want to do with the other kids? The other kids? Yeah, Billy, Tom, and Susie, Dickie, and Irving are light sleepers. <laughs> and if they wake up, they'll disturb Katie, Alice, Melvin, Julius, and the twins. Now, how many children have you got? Who knows? It's dark in here. <laughs> Baby, Daddy's got you. Now go to sleep, Ma. <laughs> we had to come to a drive-in. I want to hear the picture. Don, roll down your window and get the speaker, huh? Okay. Here, I'll just hang it over the window ledge here. Oh, Abigail. Abigail, my darling, these moments with you are like a dream. Yes, Charles. I only live when we're together. Oh, hold me closer. Mm, how I love you, Abigail. But these secret rendezvous... What if your husband catches her? Oh, that's impossible. He's away for the weekend. Don, turn the speaker up a little. <laughs> it isn't on yet. That's the couple in the next car. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There, it's on now. Well, Inspector, if I follow your thought, one of the gentlemen in this very room is the fiendish axe killer. Hey, this is exciting. Yeah, Abigail's kissing him again. <laughs> Watch the picture. Yes, Ray Grimes, and you'll be astonished when I tell you that the name of the murderer is... Jack, Jack, stop blowing your horn. I'm not blowing it, it's stuck. There must be a short in the wire. Gee, I can't hear who the murderer is. I can't... <laughs> Something, Jack. I'm hitting it. It won't stop. Call the automobile club. I can't. They blackballed me. What's that? I'll this wire. There. Gee, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I woke the baby up again. I hope you're satisfied. Look, it was an accident. If you don't like being next to me, why don't you move? I should move. I should move. Did you hear that, Moidle? This guy comes in, bothers everybody, and he wants I should move. Of all of... Quick, Moidle, hold the baby. I'm afraid I'll throw her at him. <laughs> Look, Jack, there's no sense staying here. Why don't you take that space over in the next row? Oh, maybe you're right. Uh, some people just won't let you have a good time. Better go in here, Jack, next to this convertible. Oh, yeah, there's a spot there. There. Now, maybe we can enjoy the picture. Come closer, Cynthia. Your kisses do something to me. And yours thrill me, too. But, Robert, I worry so. What if your wife catches us? Impossible. Abigail thinks I'm out of town for the weekend. <laughs> Gee, the whole family is here. I wonder if I should tell Abigail. Now, why get involved? Look, look, they're about to start the surprise feature. Oh, good, the second feature. I turn up the speaker, Don. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Palisades Drive-In takes pleasure in presenting another in our Saturday night series of surprise features. Oh, boy, I hope this is a good one. Warner Brothers presents The Horn Blows at Midnight. Well, what do you know? Baby, come back. I don't care. I'm going to 
going to stay here and watch it all by myself. Jack will be back in just a minute. But first, a word to you smokers who are looking for better taste in a cigarette. Better taste, friends, is the prime concern of the makers of Lucky Strike. That's why a Lucky is made of fine, good-tasting tobacco that's toasted to taste even better. Yes, better taste begins with fine, light, mild tobacco. Good-tasting tobacco. And then that tobacco is toasted. It's toasted, the famous Lucky Strike process brings Lucky's fine tobacco to its peak of flavor, tones up this naturally good-tasting tobacco to make it taste even better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. So make your next carton Lucky Strike, and be happy, go Lucky. If you want better taste from your cigarette, Lucky Strike is the brand to get. It's toasted to give you the best taste, yet it's the toasted... Cigarette, they take fine tobacco, it's light tobacco, it's mild tobacco too. And it's toasted, yes, it's toasted, because the toasting brings the flavor right through. So to get better taste from your cigarette, Lucky Strike is the brand to get. It's toasted to give you the best taste, yet it's the toasted cigarette. That? It's me, Rochester. Boss, you're home early. Didn't they have a second feature at the drive-in? Yes, but most of the people left. Well, that doesn't make any difference. They're supposed to show it anyway. I know, but in the middle of the third reel, the projectionist committed suicide. <laughs> Good night, Rochester. I'm going to bed. <laughs> The Jack Benny program is written by Sam Perrin, Milt Josephsburg, George Balzer, John Tackerberry, Al Gordon, Hal Goldman, and produced and transcribed by Hilliard Marks. The Jack Benny program is brought to you by Lucky Strike, product of the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.